Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition Love and General Reading. This is for Fire, Signs, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, and Rising uh, for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, November 23rd through the 25th. So let's see what we have going on for you Fire Signs. And I'm probably going to keep the readings down to a minimum because it is Thanksgiving and I know everybody's ready to eat so I'm sorry you guys I might not give as much detail okay so central issue we have the eight of cups ten of cups three of shields and we also have the three of cups ace of cups ten of wands Queen of Wands and a page of cauldrons or the page of cups. So um, I feel like there is someone that is feeling like they miss someone or feeling like something is missing. Um, like even if you're in a relationship or somebody's in a relationship, but they still feel like something's missing here uh, because we have this happy image here of a family. But with the Eight of Cups, you know, it's a lack of something. Someone still wants to find more. They feel dissatisfied. It's not enough. Um, and then because I'm seeing the page of, I mean, uh, the Three of Cups and the Three of Shields, um, there could be some sort of outside influence going on or someone maybe wants to keep their options open. Uh, maybe someone is feeling like, hey, I don't really want to commit or, you know, I'm not really ready to uh, settle on a one-on-one -on -one relationship or it's just you know someone is in a relationship but there is a third party influence here uh, for some people I'm feeling like maybe it's more so you're wanting what your friends have um, you see that they're happy and you see that they are building a family together um, and you're feeling like when is that going to happen for me like I'm still not seeing this open up for me um, so I'm feeling like a lot of you are in a search to find something that is emotionally fulfilling, even if it's not a relationship. There's something that you feel is lacking in your life. Uh, I feel like you're looking at other people and you still feel like you are missing your soul tribe or your family tribe or whatever the case. You're, you're like, where is my tribe here? So this could also uh, apply to people who are feeling left out maybe spiritually or like people don't understand you anymore especially if you had a spiritual awakening like you're like an outsider now or considered to be like the black sheep or an outcast so there's something going on where you're trying to find a place where you have a sense of belonging here um now i am seeing socializing uh i'm seeing people gathering and um maybe opening up and i'm seeing you having options so those of you that are single and dating you know, you have options available to you. So I'm seeing some sort of flirtation taking place. People are relatable. Uh, there's compromise going on. Um, like you're finding people that you have common interests with. Uh, you might be making new friends or you might be bonding with people that um, are pa passion have to sh share the same passions as you do in life. Also, those of you that are in relationships, I'm feeling like your relationship needs to be repaired. Uh, there's something going on. Maybe you or your partner is not talking about some things that are lacking in the relationship and you're just kind of pretending like everything is OK, but it's not. Um, and I'm seeing that somebody feels like something is a burden and it might just be simple as not having fun anymore. Like we don't have fun anymore or maybe we stay in the house too much or why don't we ever go on vacation? Um, so I'm feeling like someone feels burdened by this relationship or burdened by a friendship and, you know, feeling like this is this is not fun anymore and I want to have fun or I miss having fun. How do we get back to doing that? Uh, also, I'm seeing for some of you taking on some sort of heavy responsibility of maybe starting your own business. Um, I'm seeing also a lot of creativity here. I feel like maybe there's a lot of fire signs watching 
that are channeling your uh, channeling your emotions into your artwork, uh, especially those of you that are singers and songwriters, um, and even maybe performers. I'm feeling like someone is very busy, like they're always working, um, but they're always working because they love what they do. I'm getting also like a lot of passion, um, a lot of passion and a lot of flirtation going on with fire this weekend. I'm also feeling though that someone has been going out maybe too much. Or like you keep getting all these inv invitations to go out and you're like, I'm tired of going out. I just want to spend some time uh, with my family now or I want to spend some time alone. So someone is tired of being invited out all the time and I'm seeing someone kind of declining some sort of invitation. Uh, I feel like you're kind of busy this weekend. Like you're not really finding time for yourself. And sometimes you might feel like you want to sneak off and find uh, some time alone because everyone wants your attention everyone wants to show you something everyone wants to talk to you about something so I feel like you're so busy you're busy with family you're busy with friends but I'm definitely also just feeling like you're feeling lost about something like you aren't being, you haven't been the same or you haven't been the real you or you've been hiding through drinking or someone around you has been hiding their emotions by drinking. Someone is just drinking and pretending like everything's happy, but they're really depressed or sad about something. Popularity is tiring or being the life of the party is tiring. There's a lot on your mind that you don't tell or share with other people. Uh, you're trying to, you're trying to, there's something that you're doing. You're taking like an assessment of your life. You're asking like all these questions. What is it that's missing? What am I looking for? I feel like you're psychoanalyzing yourself. You're trying to figure it out. You don't even understand it. Uh, you don't know what you need. Um, there is a need for you. That's another reason why you want to isolate yourself because you need some clarity. You need to clear your mind. You need to detach from other people because you don't know what you want anymore or, um, you know, the, whatever to have you, whether it's in regards to your job, if you're dissatisfied with the, your line of work, maybe you want a career change. If it's a relationship you're in, there's something missing in it. You're not happy. You're trying to figure out what it is, what's missing. Why am I feeling this way? Um, if you are single, then you are just tired of being single, but you're not really sharing that with other people. Like you're going out and you're acting like the life of the party or you're socializing and you're laughing and you're smiling and you're drinking, but deep down you're just like, when am I just going to get to go home to that one person? That's what I do want. So I feel like there's a couple of different stories for uh, all of you here. And also you guys may be uh, involved with another fire sign such as yourself. Aries Leo Sag could be involved with... Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or maybe a Capricorn here. Now, I'm also seeing someone who's thinking about you or daydreaming about you, but they don't know how to approach you. Uh, they're withholding that information. They feel they have a fear of rejection or like you're going to turn them down. But eventually, I feel like this person is going to open up to you. They're going to express how they feel a little bit. Um, or they're, you know, there's going to be some sort of playful flirtation. Yeah, see, someone, someone is desiring family life. Someone is lonely. And they're more so looking at their friends and their family who are in uh, relationships that appear to be happy. Or maybe you're going through social media and you're looking at other people's pictures and you're like, 
I want what they have. I don't have what they have. See the Eight of Cups is showing up again. So it's just like feeling like you don't have what they have and you want it. Um, and wondering when is it going to happen for you? How many more people are you going to have to date? Um, you know, how much longer are you going to have to be a third wheel? Like, I don't want to just be the friend or I don't want to be the third wheel. Like, somebody hook me up. And I also feel like, too, uh, the universe wants you to um, pay attention to your blessings here, listen to your intuition, and to have, make sure that you have love for yourself. And I also feel like spirit wants you to know that you are not alone and that your time will come, but you're going to have to just be patient for it. For those of you that it's not happening for yet. I also feel like some of you are involved in a relationship where with someone who doesn't want a commitment, they just want to be friends. Um, they want to keep their options open. They won't give you a title there. It's like a, just a friends with benefits thing. And it's like they won't give you a title. You want and desire a that title, that status, that security. Like I want to be known as his or her girlfriend or boyfriend like I don't want to just be oh this is so-and-so like well who is so-and-so is this your you know who is this I feel like three of cups like you're having a conversation with people you're communicating you're opening up, you're sharing things. If you're dating, you're still just not seeing, you're not connecting with people uh, or you keep finding something missing or wrong with the people that you're dating or talking to. You're still dissatisfied. You want that one person that you have that, that bond with here. This is what the Eight of Cups is going off to find. Like, I want my soulmate. I just want that one person. You might be playing hard to get with a lot of people, too. Or there could be someone that is playing hard to get with you. And now, if anyone become, grows distant from you, um, I'm feeling like it's because they still feel like they haven't found their match. So leave them be. Don't bother them no more. If they feel like you aren't enough. And sometimes, you know, you really need to figure out what's going on within you that, you know, you feel like you aren't finding what you're looking for. Let me clarify one more thing. If you're thinking about uh, career changes or job changes, you might be... Um, applying to a lot of positions you're trying to figure out what used to make you passionate or what would you be passionate about but for the time being you're trying to hold on to something out of obligation clarified by the Ten of Swords. Whoever feels like they're under a lot of pressure, I just kind of feel like it's more so about being tired. Like I'm tired of doing everything by myself or I feel like I'm in a relationship alone. So if you're in a relationship too, you might feel like you're in it alone. Like you're in this by yourself here. Like you don't have any help. Everything rests on your shoulders. And you're holding on to it out of obligation. You're having a difficult time letting go. 
uh, or you're having a difficult time uh, expressing how you're feeling with your partner. I feel too that for some of you, you're just about to, you need a break. You just need a break because there's too much that's been going on. You've been doing too much. You've been too busy. So I'm feeling like you may cut someone off this weekend or someone may be cu cutting you off because it's like, I'm tired. I need some time to myself here. Now, also I'm seeing somebody juggling between two different people, earth and air, needing to make up your mind who you want to settle for. And there is some sort of secret relationship being carried out and somebody is saying, I can't keep pretending that I'm happy and, and running home to this person and then going out with and spending the night with this person here and this person there. So I'm seeing someone also who has a, a, a active lifestyle. They're searching for something that they don't have in their relationship. So they're having like different connections with other people. All right, fire signs. Don't know if it resonated, uh, but if it did, I hope it gave you some sort of clarity. Uh, don't forget to leave your comments, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and many blessings to you.